land is a country. Hey. I will not know. I will not go on. In all this a Facebook. I will not know. Well, I will not know. I will not know. What a big one. What a big one. What a big one. What a big one. All right. Hey, they brought boga for me. This boga is good. Can you warm it, please? Hey, can you warm it? Just put some mayonnaise on top of it. Warm it a little bit, not up to 30 seconds. 10 seconds and put some mayonnaise on top of it. Let me bite the burgers. <laughs> hey, oh my God, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you, for some of you, let me tell you something. You know, sometimes, for some of you watching me right now, you might be watching me, why is she being like this? When Goliath head came down, what did the children of Israel do? What did the children of God do? Yes. For some of you Christians of these days, you will say, oh, as a Christian, you are not supposed to do this. When Goliath got terrorizing the children of Israel, the uncircumcised, uncircumcised Philistine, the uncircumcised Philistine, the uncircumcised Philistine who got terrorizing the children of Israel. The young, the grown, the kids, the children. It terrorized everybody. Thinking is all of that. To the extent, the very nobles of the Israelites became fearful. You know what happened? When God bring down the head of Goliath, and chop his head off. The normal human being will say, you are not supposed to laugh. It's a horrible death. But what did the word of God says, the children of God, he said, they rejoice, they laugh, they dance, and make merry. Eh? They sang. Saul killed hundred, but David killed thousands. Who is the thousand? The one Goliath, who have terrorized the peace of the innocent who have become a bully to the children of Israel. I don't know who has been a bully to you, but in the anointing that is on top of me today, I am declaring, and this declaration is only those, is for only those who queue into this anointing, not those who come here to play holier than that altitude, who do not know that the things of the Lord are mysterious, the ways of God are mysterious. The children of God, they, they make merry when Goliath's head was brought down and cut off his shoulder. His head was brought down in shame. The children of Israel, they were happy, not minding the horrible death of Goliath. The first day of 2020, I prayed a prayer and I said, every Goliath who have terrorized you in 2019, 2020, their head shall be, their head shall come down. And I have been praying that prayer. That those who seek to shame us shall bow their head in shame. They shall bow their head in shame. When they think they want to shine. When they think they want to do anything to raise themselves up. It shall come to shame for them. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because they choose to bite, to touch the anointed one of God. They choose to spread their wings to where there is fire. And their wings will definitely get burnt. So don't come here. Don't come here and tell me, oh, I don't expect this from you. I am here on a Sunday to motivate somebody. Lift up your heads, all ye gates. I don't care. Whatever gates that have risen up against you, whatever gates that have locked up against you, whatever gate that have locked you back from being you, whatever gate that have locked your happiness away, whatever gate that have locked your pride away, whatever gate that have locked your blessing and rubbed shame in the face of your blessing, making it look like a shame when it is something you should be proud of. Whatever gates of lies that have risen up against me, against you. Whatever evil tongue that have risen up against me, against you. 
unless they come and confess that what they did was wrong, that whatever they did what that was out of malicious intent, that they were not perfect, but however, they fall short. Under that condition, we dare be forgiven. Because even God says, confess your sin and it shall be well with you. Yes. Don't you go to church to confess? When you pray, don't you confess your sins? You think God will not check into your heart? Why is it compulsory for you to say it out to his ear? That is where many people get, get it wrong. Even Christians, you wrong people. You took your hands in the eyes of people. You took your hands in the mouth of people. Even when they refuse to bite you, you want to make them shock of the meat. And then you come here and say, you are a Christian. Oh, no. Oh, I have asked for God's forgiveness and he has forgiven me. Did the Bible tell you that? Before you drop your offering in the basket, when you are in a service or wherever you are, in other words, before you do any good at all, go back to the person you have wronged and ask for forgiveness. Mend your ways. Ask for forgiveness. That is what the word of God says. Don't get it twisted. Be not deceived. For God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow, the same shall he also reap. Did you not read that in the Bible? Eh? In the book of Hebrew. Did you not read it? Be not deceived. Just in case you don't hear it before. It is there in the word of God and I quote. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow, the same he shall also reap. So when I pray that every evil tongue that have spoken up against me, lied against me, in an intent to bring down the glory of God upon my life, every evil that come out of your mouth against me and my household shall play out a thousand folds in your home, in your household, in your life, from generation to generation, until you make a U-turn and confess your sins and ask for forgiveness. Because I did not do it to you first. Yeah. I didn't do it to you first. You have no right to do that to me. No. Especially when it is coming from a place of envy, jealousy, hate, an intention to want to reduce me for you to look like you better than me. How dare you? 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 So don't come here because if you come here, I will just block you out of here. Get out. I am not ready. 2020, I am not going to put up or tolerate any nonsense. There is a path that will be set for me, 2020. And if you're not ready to queue in, alele, out. Out. Because after all, it's clear that the anointing that you don't believe in cannot bless you. So even if I speak thousands, millions worth of motivation, you're never going to get motivated because you are not here to be motivated. So listen, this, is, this goes to everyone out there. My topic tonight, though, is a question that a young lady called me to last sometime this week to ask me. And I have, since he asked, she asked me this question, I talked to her, she was happy. The question did not leave my mind. And I feel like to bring it out here because I know that there are a lot of people that would benefit from the little minutes of advice that I gave to her one on one. That is, if you look at the title there, me, he says, how can I be happy? That was the question she asked me. B and B, please. I want to ask this question, please. How can I make myself happy without anybody? Like friends, even, you know, the man in their lives and all that. How can I make myself happy? Because I feel like I have everything, you know. But I'm not happy because of the people in my life. I'm making it difficult for me to laugh. How can I be happy? That was the question she asked me. 
And thank God I was able to talk her through it. And before she could drop the phone, she laughed it off. We were laughing, joking. It wasn't the same tune that she came to me. It wasn't the same tune that she dropped the phone. She came to me in a different tune, but left, you know, dropped the call with a better tune. And I felt the need to bring it to you here. Because I know many of you are here. You have it all. You even have it better than the people you admire sometimes. But you are not happy. Why? We are coming there. How can you make yourself happy? Whether you get friends, you not get friends. Whether your husband, they misbehave. Or your boyfriend, they misbehave. Whether your friends, they want to do not like say... The, the friends where you so one time believe in if you don't see, if you not see them be like say they never break you know if you move leg you know if you go you know if you go out you know if you go anywhere you know if you attend any functions without them how can you be able to make yourself happy without these people now we are coming there yes we are coming there but before we get there let me quickly put this to you this is 2020 many people have incurred causes unknown to them ah Many people have been cured causes unknown to them. Out of things they thought, it's not mine, just do it and so what? No. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't work that way in the realm of the spirits. Do you get? So don't come here and tell me this, that. Yes. When the Lord delivered to the children, when the Lord deliver the daughters and sons of Zion, <laughs> Israel, I mean, name it, they were like they that dream. Haven't you heard it? Now listen, let me tell you. Reason why, if you are here, under the sound of my voice, you are hearing me. Yeah? Never! Ever. One thing you must not do. One thing you must not do. One thing you must never do. No matter how bitter you are. Never. This is one thing I will never do. And I'm bringing it to you. Never let your bitterness grip you so much. Whether you are bitter against somebody or just bitter because of the whatever occurrence happening around you, whatever. Never. Condescend yourself so low to fabricate lies. Lies. Say, now you sabi like that. If you cook like you go put mangi, put salt, put whatever. You go look believable. Never make such mistake. Because the spirit of truth will fight against you. And no matter how long lies travel, truth, no matter how fast lies travel, truth. We catch up with you some days. And you have a way. Truth always have a way of catching up with you. It might make every evil that you have done. Every lie that you have said about people. You will just see them playing out in your household. Playing out in your life one after the other. And you are worried. Like, hey, mm -mm, not be human being. Not be anybody they worry you. The lies you told. You imagine it, you conclude it, and you lie because you just want to get at somebody. Don't do it. Don't do it. No matter how provoked you are, say what you know. What you know, because sometimes, trust me, even what is brought to you by others, there might just be a lot of atom of incredibility in it. What if that person have just been looking for a way to get at that person and they brought some useless information to you and you being naive and stupid putting your life on the line, you go saying all manner of rubbish. Why? Don't do it. No matter how provoked you are, no matter how bitter you are, be disciplined enough not to say what is not true. Even in your anger. Never, ever cook up lies. Say now you sabi cook lie, pass. Add magi, add salt. Add a dinamato, make it for sweet, well, well. Even if it a posh, the lie no concern you. 
you just dish it out anyway. Never ever make that mistake. Today is the second of the second month of the year in the twentieth. Twentieth year of decades. It is a zero two zero two two zero two zero. You either read it backward or you read it forward. And there's a reason I decide to put this message today. Listen. Listen. For every lie you said against innocent souls we play out in your life and in your household, whether you like it or not, in one way or the other, it will play out. Except there are spirits that are very weak. You march on them, you tremble on them, you crush on them, you crush them down, beat them down, and you just go scoff free. But there are spirits you don't mess with. Yes. They might not come out the way you want them to come out or the way you are expecting, but trust me, there are spirits you don't mess with. Because every lying tongue the word of God says shall go to hell. And your hell is not going to be till you die. It will be right here in the planet Earth, where you live, in your house, in your business, in everything you do. In your social life, in everything that has to do with you, you must go through hell. Because you know what? You have put people through hell by raising up your tongue against them. The word of God says, for every tongue that is risen up against me in judgment shall be condemned. Did you know what that means? By the time everything you said to lie against me to bring me down, you are indirectly wishing it on me. And I'm saying, looking at your lies in the face and telling them in the name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus, go back to where you are coming from. I don't care who's here ever heard it. I don't care which mouth has spoken it. I don't care whose heart has believed in it. But I command you in the name of Jesus, go back and play out in the household of he who speaketh it against me. You will see it. Yes. 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 Some people, they are dumb. They are sleeping. And I'm here to wake some people up. Because this is my mandate. I would have keep it quiet until it totally play out. But hey, let heaven bear me witness that I said this today. For you who needs to make a U-turn to make a U-turn. Because if I don't say it and the Spirit of the Lord already ministered it to me to say it. And I did not say it. Then it will be my sin. But now that you have heard it, it is your sin. If you do not adhere to it. Yes. Yes. Some time ago. A blunt and lie. A lie that is from the pit of hell was said against me. That, oh, I'm not married. Oh, her husband doesn't live with her. Hey, her husband, they come. She know they see the whatever, duduvaga. Now then they duduvaga the thing. Eh? Of which me, since I got married, I did with my husband, can't be. And you came out to say such lie. I did not reply, but I said, God, in your throne you of judgment, you said you are not for executive vengeance. You see it. You see it, oh God. My husband is here with me. But these lies have been said just to put me down. To make my work here. Me advising people. Nourishing marriages. To put a dent on what I stand for. For this same purpose, oh God. Because they lied. And because they choose to say this to bring me down. God, if you be God, they will never live with their husband. Whether they like it or not, something must happen that they will no longer live with their husband. Listen. Listen. God is God. I don't care who you are. But nobody contained with God and is anointed. I didn't come out to shout, but I pray. Today, uncle, watch them. None of them, they with their husband. 
Whether I go out, go find work for somewhere else. So. Now something they difficult for. Now in the living family at the age of 50 to go look for a job somewhere else. Do you get after many years, decades in Europe? Now now you want to come out, go look for a job somewhere else. Now something I know better. Or when they call why everyone go to go. You understand? I've been a co wife on but what did they say it? Now who balance? Now they stay with the family. Take who no balance? Now they go also. After many years, now man they pack bag and baggage. Is one go look, live bachelor's life? Bachelor's life. Say you want go look for work? For where? You want go look for work for also? From where you want go look for work? It's not better for you. Now he make you come on, but something have to happen anyway because they lie that I'm not living with my husband. Now they have to buy the cat. They need to buy tickets to go and do vaga. Why me? I am do vaga in my own anytime I want time. Money, if I want time, I collect her. Evening before I leave for work, if I want time, afternoon I collect her. Now me, they run. I don't need to buy tickets to go and do vaga once in three months or once in five months or a Christmas period. Nine. Yes. Those lies were said against me. And I put my knees on the ground and said, God, what is this? Is it that they are wishing this for me or what? But whether they wish it or they just meant to use it to, to, to bring my, your glory upon my life down. Father, everything you, they said with their mouth, let it play out in their household. A thousand folds. Let them see it. Let them rip it. Because they lied against me. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus until they come out to say, I am sorry. Yes. Our God is a forgiving God. And he also admonishes us that before you lay any offering, go and settle with who you offend. Oh, yes. Go and say sorry. Because your offering, your prayers, will be unacceptable. When you say offering, your prayer na offering, your praises na offering, your worship na offering. Yes! Yes! In the days of old, in the Old Testament, before the children of God ask anything of God, they burn frankincense, they sacrifice ram and all that, is a way of them praying to God. But in the New Testament, say you, you no longer go through the window or through whatever. You come straight through the door. And who is this door? Jesus. And the same in the New Testament, he admonishes us. Before you drop your offering, go back. Go back and mend your ways. Go back and say sorry to who you have offended. You will come out to lie against me. You will reap all your lies. They will play out in your household. The day you will put your knees on the ground in the secret to say, God, I am sorry, forgive me. Your problem will become times ten. A thousand fold it become. Until you come out openly. The same way you came out. To lie against this innocent soul. This free spirit. By God's grace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will play out one after the other. It will play out. It will play out in your household. It will play out. It will play out. Oh! It will play out. It will play out. Came out. You put my husband down. Oh. You put my husband down. My wonderful, honorable Wonderful husband who know how to make his wife happy. A man who is a father. Who will put his life down in this minute just for his family to be happy. You came out and you put him down. You have no idea. You came out. See now see the test they go. Even if your husband is the most faithful man on earth for you doing that. It shall never be well with you and your marriage. Your husband, whether he likes it or not, he go test, test, whatever it is that there is to test, because it shall go back to you and play out in your household in the name of Jesus. Yes. 
it will play out. Oh, you will see it. It will test all the things testable. Because you wish it on me, and it is written, seeing it is a righteous thing unto the Lord, to recompense tribulation to them who seek to trouble me. To recompense tribulation to them who troubles me. Do you know what the word recompense means? To repay. To repay. It is right unto God to repay. For God to repay tribulation to them that want to trouble me is righteousness unto him. It is righteousness unto God to punish they that seek to punish me. To humiliate they that seek to humiliate me. To put they that seek to put me down, down below the ground. Yes. And I come to you in the word of God tonight. Not by my mind, neither is it by my power. But by the spirit of the most high God. I didn't want to say this. But it is not my, I don't, I don't delight pleasure either. Watching them play out one after the other. Because I know it will come to the last bit of it. You lied against my children. Oh my. I have never, all my, all my entire existence, say any manner of e-talk against anybody's child. You came out in your wide, smelling, stinking but unless pit of hell mouth, you came out and you lied against my children. I sat back like I didn't hear it. I heard. But hey, I took your case to the one who can snatch breath away from you anytime. But because it's merciful, it's still giving you ro long rope. Because you know why? Every lie you said against my children they shall play out in your household. Except you quickly retrieve yourself and apologize. Yes! In the name of Jesus! Except God is not on his throne. You are angry. I am not angry. But I'm telling you what it is. You all remember the the man in the word of God whose head was bored. The bald-headed man who was going and the children, the word of God says, and the children started mocking him. Was he bored? Yes, he was actually bored. But was it right for them to mock him with what? He didn't give them the permission to do that. It's an insecurity that he had that she, if he could do something about it, he would have. But they choose to mock him with it. And it got to him. And the word of God says, out of the annoyance, he caused those children. And you know what happened? The cause take immediate effect on the children. God did not show mercy. When his hand is on you. Eh? That is why he said, touch not my anointed. Don't try it. Don't try it, anyone who put God first, who fear God, who before they say anything, they think about what will God say. Don't do it. Not with your own mind. Oh, no, this is not strong, Greece. You have no idea the agreement, their personal relationship with God. Anyone, before they speak, they seek the mind of God, they want to speak, but they have self-control. Be careful of people like that. Because of where? In Raviri. Eh? You understand? Do you understand? Did you understand? Who God have blessed? Let no more cause, says the word of God. He said, he will bless they that he chooses and curse anyone he chooses to curse. And he says, whosoever curses, whoever he has blessed, shall be cursed. And whoever blesses me, of course, shall be blessed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did I do you wrong? What exactly did I do that warrant you, my father, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, my children, my husband, myself? Oh, my God. And you think it's not going to play out in yours. It's just starting. But I'm bringing you 
Also, everyone, this message watching me right now. I don't know who you they tell lie for their body. I don't know who you they lie, lie for their body. Your friends, your neighbor, your family. Uh, you say you don't get power to fight you, Abby. You don't get much the same way you get, Abby. Hey! Retrieve from your step. It is still early 2020. Before everything, when you they lie against people, start to they play out for your life. Take a U-turn. It's not worth it. I'm telling you. It is not worth it. Thinking you want to bring people down at the end of the day, that which you meant to bring other people down is starting to play out in your life. Retrieve your steps. It's not worth it. Uh -uh. Nobody is worth you lying against at the expense of your success tomorrow, at the expense of your future. Nobody is worth it. Nobody is worth it. Nothing is worth it. Say what only you know. Leave what you don't know out of it. Sometimes your flesh might want to push you. Just say it. Just say it. Hey! Don't do it. Ah! They came out and they cook up like that. I committed adultery. Ha! Ah! Because I've always preached. I have always sing, I have sung against adultery. I have motivated women countless times, men countless times. It is not the right thing to do for you. The day you start nursing the idea of sleeping outside of your marriage, go out of it. If he's no longer appealing to you, if he is no longer enticing to you, if you have, you have let down every of your trust or whatsoever, that you are beginning to think of doing it with somebody else, retain your respect, retain your womanhood, retain your dignity as a mother, as a woman, and go out of that relationship. Then you will be free to do whatever you want to do. Don't do it because the day you do it, you have brought cause upon yourself, your household, and your generation. Because women are the grace that holds home together. Women are the grace that bind their homes together. I have preached it. I have seen a time with that number. And what did they do? Because they want to make my preaching, what I stand for, not credible enough to people because it pinches them, because they fall short of it, because they are guilty of what I talk about. That I talk about it doesn't mean, even if you are guilty, that you should start beating yourself. It just means, don't let your mistake beat you down. You've done it before. Stay away from it now. Ask for forgiveness. Yes, even the woman, the prostitute in the Bible, God still forgive them. Forgive her. He did not let them stone her to death. What did they do? They came out and they cook up lies. Ah. They call them, they call them. This one tell me, and that one tell me. But my joy is that the people they said they told them quickly came out and exonerate themselves. Whether they actually said it or whether they did not say it or out of malicious intent, to, whether they themselves were warmongers, rumor mongers, liars from the pit of hell, but at least they realized that, oh, this is a, it's a lie I told. They withdraw. God, we have mercy on them. I, we have mercy on them. Why? Because whether they said it or not, they could not be bold enough to come out to say, yes, I said it. And even if they said it, in one way or the other, stylish you or whatever, they quickly withdrawn themselves and said, you know what? It was out of malicious intent. I don't know this lady from Adam. I don't know her before. I said whatever what I was said because I was bitter. Though they did not agree that they said it, I will take their word for it. But hey, you sit down. Say, yeah, she shit. If I cheated on my husband. Oh. Then it shall be well with you in that aspect. But if not, ah, cheating, you will never go scot free from it. Adultery will be a thing of the presence of reoccurrence in your household. You will commit it. You will not have any power to stop it. When the urge come on you, you will commit it. It will play on you generation to generation. You will suffer it. Everyone that is linked to you will suffer it. Because adultery, there will be none for adultery. 
whether it is what they want to do or not, they will do it. Yes! They will find themselves doing it. Because I know. I have said it time without number here on social media. Marriage is an honorable thing before God. And it's something that is, is one institution ordained by God. Hey, he said, your bed, your matrimonial bed should be undefiled. And I hold on to that word. Even if my matrimonial bed must be defiled. It must not be from me. Never. Never. I find. Okay. I class. Yes. I push. Yes. God has blessed me. Yes. But one thing. One thing. I will never condescend so low to do is to sleep with her. Even when I never even marry herself, I'm not the type where they jump, jump. No! I've said it time with that number. Say, only two men can come out in this office of the world. Say, we don't friend them. That is the man who I knew my first, first person when they were disveging me and my husband. That is it. That is it. I've said it time with that number. Yes. But you came out and you lie against me. Oh, gosh. You tell such lie against me if you are a man. Any woman when you marry must cheat on you. He must, they must commit adultery. They can't help it. You will feel the rot of adultery. If you be a woman, you will commit that adultery. Your husband will commit adultery on your head. And he will go. You will pass it over. It's a generational thing it will be for you. Because I did not do it. And you choose to lie it. You did not even think what you were doing. You lie such lie against me. Nah. Mm -mm. You don't go there. Mm -mm. Don't go there. I keep quiet. As if I did not hear it. I heard. But I've tendered your case. To the throne of judgment. Yes. I've tendered it to the throne of judgment. Because I know I am innocent of every one of your accusations. I am innocent. This one, now he tell me, now she tell me, now that one tell me. Really? Huh? Really? Really? I have said it with that time with that number. I am too posh and poised for nonsense. When I'm saying it, like people don't understand. I am too bold, beautiful, and noble. I am too bold, noble, and beautiful to find myself. You, as I just find Riso, eh? As I just posh, poised Riso, class Riso. I go come say, eh? You just, you know, that's my husband. I said, just clean from head to toes. <laughs> that guy cleaned that. She, no, he not clean that. He cleaned too much. Mm. May he not clean that. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Ah! The man, eh? oh my God. Ah! He worshipped me. Do you get? He worshipped me as a lady. He loved that word. When I say he worshipped me, I mean he loves me to bits. Every member of his family knows that. Anyone who is close to us knows that. Then, what could I possibly say I'm looking for somewhere else? My tall, handsome, high-waisted, shiny, elegant, <laughs> loving, sexy, romantic, caring. I mean, the list is endless. Prince, Prince Charming. Oh, my God. Hey. Ah! The guy balanced for everywhere. I'm not just saying it. He balanced. Eh? Because he not say he balance. When he want to choose, he make sure say he go for the best. Because he not say I reach to carry the best. I mean, now, God, I can't look and say, ah, I shall not settle for less. I reject it in the name of Jesus. I say, yes. Huh? I cannot keep myself like that. Say, I know they do chin chon, chin chon, chin chon. You know how many traffic day? 
if after five grown-ups children, I still look like this, imagine me when I never drop one. When I think back, <laughs> when I never drop one, not traffic, eh? There was a time even my husband and there was a time he was wooing me. There was another guy who was who was looking for a way to meet then, but I was not giving him face at all. He got with my husband. Say, babe, when don't they try to toast for long? Now you just come from nowhere saying you want to collect. He never even, I never, he, that is, I never even stand. One minute, say, make he talk to me. Oh, now he told they follow me. Could collect, could collect anywhere you see me. He got with and say, eh, you know just here, eh? For them, you know, they were the first people who came abroad then. They feel like they are the boss, you know, the, what they call the church again fathers. Then they were not fathers. They were church again boss. Let's call them church again boss. Eh? And my husband just came from nowhere. He will let him. I'm not even, I'm not kidding. The elder brother got involved. Say, ah, this woman will kill you. Woman will never be the friend. I don't they fight you because of her. <laughs> I don't get any idea. Jeez. Say, eh, you want to shop food when they make for big boys? I'm see who they call my husband, big boy. They, where my husband? My husband, me. He check a left where my husband. My husband now, as a dad, not even a boyfriend yet. <laughs> he will lay on like, let's throw blow. Eh, if I see you and they see you, they remember the daddy, babe. Where you know the fear, food with me, they also. Now you say, what goes? Eh? I hold myself, but I'm not that type. I do, I do much, honestly. You see, eh, eh, gosh. When they say self-love, I do love myself, oh, honestly. I love myself. Even my husband, they sometimes look at me at home. When I'm going to do it, they walk up past, we go say, hey, this woman, you know, go kill me with shakara. Now, so they tell me, go say, you this woman, you know, kill me with shakara. Hey, it's a house. You can do me, no, me, no, me, no, me, no. But that's why they for 20 years, you know, they talk that word, they still talk at it. <laughs> you know, they do me, no, me, no, me, no, they go inside the house. Honestly, I'm so much in love with myself that I can't imagine me. I go just come throw away my clothes. Yeah? Just give you myself, see, finish. For me, it's a big deal, oh. Honestly, romance, no, fiki fiki, no, there is there. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me. I'm not, I'm not cut out for that. Because, and they feel like, gosh, I feel like you're about to drag me from my throne. I'll just come throw away my clothes. Can't just give you my body, see, finish. Ah, no, no way, no. I can't do that. I am too precious. I am too precious for anybody, any man to just see, finish like that. No, I am too beautiful. Cha. I am your imagination. That is it. me, me. I would rather be your imagination. Yes, your imagination that to give you my body see finish. Who born you? Who you be? Eh? Let me be your imagination. You will be in La La Land. They imagine, but you're not gonna reach there. I am like the heaven you want to be in, but you don't want to die before you reach there. You understand? You want to be in heaven, but you don't want to die. I want to be that. So after my husband was me. For a very long period of time, finally, I agree. And before I agree, I have made up my mind that, you know what? This is it. Come rain, come shine, come sun, whatever the weather will be, I will weather it with him. It's a decision I made before I agreed to even let him into my house. Say, he come visit me the first time. And then me that carry myself like that, gratefully, graciously, poishly, poishly, without jumpy, jumpy, shuku, shuku, you can rub my garment of honor. It's an honor to me. For some people, they go look like, you know, they happen at all, happening, babe. I don't believe. I have friends then who believe, say, to, for babe, to the happening at all, they change guy from one. Mm, me, I get to this. Then they, they, then they, they will tell me, say, ah, you don't find this. You know, they happen. Eh? For you, that is happening. For me, mm -mm, is me retaining my honor, my dignity, eh? my supernatural inner beauty, eh? my well of living water. 
you can't come in there first because you are not qualified. It is my well of living water. And this living water is only available for who, for whom my soul, my heart is well pleased. Not for any help person. Not for anybody that cares. You understand? I have never been a cheerful giver when it comes to that area. And I will never be a cheerful giver when it comes to that area till I die. Never. Never. My honor will go with me wherever I go. Hey. Look at me and swallow spit, but you know reach there. You get? Why? Anywhere I reach, anywhere I go, I stand tall. In the midst of crowds, I stand tall. Ah, I say it all the time. My husband cannot walk into anywhere. You go come and say, ah, over you. Oh, tell me. Oh, Kirikadu. Oh, Baoni. Oh, uh, 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 whatever, whatever. Walai, walai, walai. Or whatever. You say, I don't have seen your wife. I don't know your wife. Who you be? Are you all right? Are you all right? Eh? Are you okay? It cannot happen. And this is what I wish for my children. They are boys. And for every man who is watching me right now, may God give you a woman that will hold your honor, your, your flag of honor up there. Woman will be saying anywhere you walk, enter. You know, bow your head in shame. No, he said this one, don't sleep with her. That one, don't sleep with her. The other one, don't enter there. That one, don't enter there. Whether no, no, no to you before you marry them. You understand? May God bless you with such women. But for the likes of men who know how to lie, there was a show, some, a guy called, one small boy. The voice can tell, he says small boy. He say, eh, hey, yeah. Now, small, small boys, they go sleep with them because he want to insult me one time that I said uh, single mothers should not be bullied into marrying. That many of them are dying as a result of that. The boy came out and said that. And for that boy, whoever he is, wherever he is, he will never see any faithful woman to marry. Any woman, when he marry, will make his life miserable as a result of constant adultery. Constant committing of adultery. So shall it be for him today, tomorrow, and forever. Because he chose to use his stupid mouth against an honorable woman who owed up the word marriage in high esteem. Yes, so shall it be for him. Oh. And for the likes of any man, if you are a man here, yeah, I'm telling you, never use your mouth to say lies against anybody. Especially a woman that is married. Or a girl who is in a relationship, or even not in a relationship, because you want you want form. You say I don't sleep with her now. I don't don't do it, because it shall come back to you, whether you like it or not. It will play out. Play 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 play. Your woman not gonna know when he go cheat and he go come to you openly. It will not do, you cannot do anything about it. And any woman you marry will find a way to cheat on you, except you quickly make a U-turn and ask. I said this, it was out of anger, it never happened. I'm sorry. I am. I don't care who you are, what you are, but I'm telling you, never, ever, ever let anger take the best part of you, provocation, grab you so much so that you come out and lie a terrible lie upon an innocent soul. Yes. So I'm going to say, hey, don't to me first. Eh, eh, don't do that. He lie one against you, you lie two against him. Mm -mm. Don't. You cannot fight lie with lie and expect to overcome. Mm -mm. You know, if you use lie, they fight lie, make you overcome. Both of them will learn the same place. Fight lies with truth by staying in your truth, by upholding your truth, by staying put in your truth. All right? Stay true to your truth. Nicholas. I am not God, but I am God. The word of God says, ye are little gods. I am God. I am not God, but I am a goddess made in the image after the likeness of the most high God. And he has put in my tongue that I shall declare it in and it shall be established. 
And you know why this is going to establish? Because I have not done it against anyone and I will never do it against anyone. So if you do it against me, thinking are you God, I will unleash the goddess in me. And you will face your wrath. Then you will know that physically and spiritual realm, we cannot be equal. We are, we are equal before the eyes of God, but spiritually and physically. Eh? Give everybody for past each other. That is why God says, touch not my anointed one. He did not just say, don't touch my children. He said, do not touch my anointed one. So, hey, mind your tongue, Nicholas. Don't let me unleash on you, all right? I am here admonishing the likes of you. Don't go lying against people thinking they are not God. Because even your lie will give up on you and their truth will cash up with you and you will not escape it. Then you will know that truth itself is a God. Truth itself is a God. Truth is a God of his own. That is why the word the Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Truth is a God of his own. You don't lie against truth. Because you will not go scot-free. So you get, so Nicholas, wash it. Wash it, wash it, and wash it. Do you hear? My kind of woman, I pray it upon my children all the time. The woman that will love them regardless. The woman that will stay stick to them. The woman that will plan with them. The woman that will uphold the word called marriage. The woman that will honor them. And in turn, trust me, I am training them to love their women like queen. Treat them like queen. They see the way their father treat me all the time. So they are learning. They know. Yes. They know. We are not just talking. They are watching. They are watching. Anywhere we fought shorts. I quickly bring it to them. No, no, no. This is not right. Too. It happened like this. Doesn't mean it have to be like this. So don't try it. You get? God will decide to bless me with all male children. You know what they do. Because trust me. By the special grace of God. God keep me alive for my daughters in law. They will not suffer. They will not suffer in the hands of my children. They will not suffer. This I pray, this I declare in the name of Jesus. And in turn, I pray every day. Oh my God. My first and second son, they are approaching that age so fast where, you know, they start thinking of marry, life partner, and all that. I pray God, wherever their wife is, protect them. Don't let their wife jump bad person first. Before you can't know them, or men for no can carry transfer of aggression, can they exhibit for their body? Protect their wives, wherever they may be, whether they don't bond them, they never bond them, now you get power, now you know them, wherever their wife is right now, wherever their wife may be tomorrow, protect them, guide them, order their step, bless them, instill them with wisdom, wisdom into them. No let bad mother, anyhow mother, born my daughter-in-law. Please, God, their mothers, their father, bless them with wisdom so that they will raise them well. Because the word of God says, train up a child the way he should go so that when he grow, he will not depart from it. Did you get? So please, don't let wayward mother born my daughters-in-law. If there is any way they are in the care of a wayward mother right now, beg, take those children away from them. If that will redeem those children from being wayward. Yes. It is a prayer every woman who has a son should pray. Because trust me, now woman, now in the build home. But now son, men, they provide the blocks to build this home. So I'm teaching my children to learn to provide these blocks. But I pray wherever their wives will be, to be a home builder, better bricklayer, better one, not be any other one. Yes. So for those of you, like I was saying earlier, 
ou nous a tout lie against people. Tout lie. Pion, 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 pion. Eh! They even lie. They said, my father, a chief, a man who is above 90 years old. He is above 90. Ya papa, de mama no to, no last rich like that. They say, my own father, a chief, with many capable children, home and abroad. Say, if they pick food, they go for grand for party. Oh, say they eat leftover. Unless you seek for forgiveness. Eh, you will eat leftover. Eh, you will eat leftover. You will eat leftover. They get leftover or you go pick your own for those beam. In the name of Jesus. You go pick food for those beam. You go pick food for those being. Because there, there are places you don't go. There are things you don't say. Why? Did I say that about your father? Have I ever said that about your mother? Have I said that about you or your family? No. No matter how many times you insult my own rich, I never came out to start raining it on you. No. But hey, your case, if they, with God, don't know how to execute judgment. He said, I'm known for executing vengeance. This is February. I know why I'm shipping this whole thing in. So that you yourself that is watching me, you will learn. Stay away from vomiting nonsense all in the quest of may they say now me get bad mouth pass. Because hey, the negativity you vomit on people will play back in your life if they are innocent of what you accuse them of. Even if they are not innocent, if they have a strong spirit that say, I know they can send a message. I mak 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 I am not God, but God says, you, before you tender any offering to me, go and mend your ways with the one you have wronged. Yes, yes, now God talk. Huh? So Christian, even as a Christian, eh, don't lie against anybody thinking you will not go to church on Sunday or in your altars, in your house. And the other that you have related for yourself, that corner that you usually go to pray, say, God, forgive me. Ah, fire, I bind. You cannot bind there. Eh? You cannot bind. It will stay with you. The day you even say you bind it, that day it will be unleashed on you in a thousand fold. The day you seek prayer from any man of God, any woman of God, without telling them the wrong that you have done, the lies you have told. Because any true man of God you tell a lie, will tell you, go and ask for forgiveness. But you go seek for a man, any man or woman of God to pray for you, their prayer shall turn curse upon your life eh? because you will not be honest to them what you did in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who went on your go? No, are you go here? No, are you okay? We came in no jazzy when you are going away. And then here we are near when you are going that day shall double upon your life until you come out and ask for forgiveness. In the name of Jesus. Yes. That's the mercy of God still in me. I keep putting it until you come out and ask for forgiveness. The day you do, it shall be well with you. But until then, you will reap everything you have sown. You will see them play out in your life one after the other. Knowingly or no to you. Whether you like it or not, they shall play out. Physically, they will play out. Spiritually, they will play out. Financially, they will play out. Socially, they will play out. Mentally, they will play out. In your rest of, with your rest of mind, they shall play out. Because you seek to trouble he that can, she that cannot be troubled. You will be troubled back in turn. You will be troubled back in turn. All right? You will be troubled back in town. And many of you here, yeah, you are fond of when messages like this are coming. Eh? You focus. 
on one particular person. Either your body too. Yes. This is the platform where we tell each other the truth. Either your body. You are very good at lying against people too. That your friend where you don't tear your body. You tear them. You stand by the lie for them. For you, go some of you go say, I don't be lying, and I'm true. He take and send you message. Remember the man that I talk about, the man with the bald head in the Bible. Was he actually bald? Of course he was bald. Those kids look funny to the children and they laughed over it. But he asked that wild animal swallow up those children. And from nowhere, that was us. Animal came out and divorced those children. For mocking him with what was his pain, from mock for mocking him with what was in him that obviously he is not comfortable with. Because if he was comfortable with it, while they were mocking it, he probably would be even laughing. But he didn't laugh. He got upset. Why? Why have you choose to bully me with my pain? Why have you choose to bully me with my problem? Why have you choose to mock me with what is obvious that I am not happy with? Why do you choose to rub it on my face? Why have you choose to be a tool in the hand of the devil to remind me of where I'm trying to go away from or things I'm trying to forget? You are not even only reminding me. You are mocking me with it, cursing me with it. Therefore, you shall be cursed. In the case of those children, they didn't even live to see their head go bald. Because there was no mercy. He would have told them, okay, even you. If he had just told them, okay, you are laughing me, okay, before you get to 20, all the hair in your head will, will be vanished. It would have even been better so they would live to regret. So whenever they see bald people, they don't go laugh again. But no, there was no going to, he didn't show them mercy for them to even experience it. He said, let them go. But I pray you that is watching me now. May your case not be like that. May God give you the grace, the heart to seek for forgiveness for those you know you have actually offended. Those you know that you have lied against. You know say you lie. You know say you lie. You know say everything where you talk now just out of malicious intent. You know when when we are fenu tie or ye gbe wa gbe wa uya tie. When what ye gbe wa gbe wa uya tie. You know it. You know it. May God give you the grace in order for your mistake not to bury you. May you realize your mistake like the prodigal son and quickly make a U-turn. Remember our topic last week, right? Never bow your head to your mistake. Do what is expected of you and it shall be well with you. You understand? Did you get... Don't let your ego, your pride, even when you know, say you are done wrong. So many times the Spirit of God have convinced you, convicted you to apologize. What you have done is wrong, but no. Why you catch cut it? May they not say, may they not say. And the people they say, may they not say, may they not say. Your, your, the wall are the play out for your household. You they look. You they look. You are not counting one or two. You said you are smart yet. You can't put one or two together. Eh? Oh my, she is. She is, really? Really? Seriously? Seriously? Uh-huh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop lying against people. Say, he do it to me first. Now he first talk and he felt like against me. He can't say, I do this. Now make I say, he do that. No. No! No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter who first talk up. Never lie against anybody's head. Don't say any lie against anybody's head. All right? When you are joking, say na joke I do. It's just a joke. Though it my heart, at least, it's just a joke. Oh, sorry. Don't make it look like, ah, now so it happened. It happened, it happened. Eh? It will happen to you. It shall happen to you. 
It will happen to you. Whether you like it or not, it shall happen to you in the name of Jesus. And you will get it in double. Today is a double dose of everything. You will get it to double. It will play from front and it will play from the back. It will play all way around. But if you can repent from your evil ways, if you can repent, you can be humble enough to know that you have done wrong, then it shall be well with you. Mm -hmm. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you, I'm telling you. There is no sin that is unforgivable. If you can just be humble enough to seek for forgiveness. Yes. Seek for forgiveness. Once you seek for forgiveness, the people you veil against, whether they forgive you or not, at least we're bold enough to say, I'm sorry, I've wrong. Nothing they will do that God will accept anyone because he ordered you say, forgive them who offend you. He said, we are forgiving you. And it's the same God who said, if somebody, if you have offended someone before you offer any sacrifices to me, before you come to me, before you pray to me, who and mend your ways, who and ask for forgiveness so that they will forgive you. The same way we come to him, say, Father, forgive me, I know I've sinned. I did this, I did that. He expect that to you, to your fellow neighbors. You get? It is January. It is February. First, second day of February. And I'm saying this to every ear that cares to listen. You all know how we do it here. This is where we motivate each other. This is where we instill moral into each other this is where we instill moral <laughs> call your children sit down messages like this they should hear it never ever whether a person they push you to do ammo whether a person tell you say me you do ammo don't do it don't do it because it will be to your own detriment don't do it never ever do it Yes. I, I always say that to my children all the time. There are sometimes, you know, when something, somebody will do something, maybe somebody eats, you know, wash your plate, you drop on there. Because the rule for us, we say, once you they eat, finish, wash your dish. Nobody be your servant will come and wash your dish for you. As you they finish eat, wash your dishes immediately. Now let me and their father and I go eat, finish, come call, they say, come and, come and clear the table and go and wash it. Both for each and every one of you watching. So whenever there's a dish there in the kitchen on wash, and I'm asking, who used these dishes? And the other, maybe the other person did not use that. I think is lost. I I think is this, or I think is is him, or I think is whatever. I correct them. Do you think or you know? That way I don't know, but I think. Eh -eh. I always correct them. Don't think. Don't assume and just conclude. You think is him. You have no idea. Why will you think of what you don't know? Be sure. I caution them that all the time. Don't think. Well, I think, did you know? Are you sure he's the one? Um, you know, uh, I think he, don't tell me. Is it that you think or you know? Before you go, let me go give somebody where he said, don't do anything. Give a hand now. Nah. They're going to say, no, I'm not the one that did it. Because I'm going to give you back in double for letting me give it to who have no, who did not do anything. I'm going to give it back to you in double. That's me for you. You understand? So I was saying, is it that once they hear me repeat that, is it that you think or you know? They just, they quickly understand. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't really, I'm not sure. So, okay, then. Next time, don't assume. Assumption. I've landed many people into trouble. I've killed many people. Say what you think, not knowing. I've caused a lot of trouble. You understand? So please, 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 please. Don't be so that they know sharp person. Or strong person. A smart person. When you know how to fabricate lies from the bottomless pit of hell. Lies from the pit of hell. Don't do it. I'm going to stop that there for now. There are many things I want to say. But let the spirit of God take control. I'm just going to leave it there now. Don't do it. Mm. Don't do it all. I know why I'm talking. I know why I'm talking. I'm not going to sit back and see even at that, the merciful word that God gave to me. I see things happening. I just keep quiet. And I go for it. I have to tell you, you are going wrong. You have done wrong. 
and all these things will play back on you until you do the right thing is me warning you ahead of time. Don't let it get worse than it is already. Do you get? Did you get? Don't do it, my dear. You know, the problem with humans is that sometimes we, we are too impatient. You want to see result today, today, today. You just pray the prayer. No, 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 no. You want to see it happen. No, no. no, God does not work like that. Now, when it they switch you, when it's supposed to switch you, when it will pain you pass, when you will feel up, now then God will appear. That is when he appears. So, yes, it is not beating with God. That's why it's, it's merciful. Now, many people, they do wrong. They do and do, and people are shouting, is it that God is not the God is there? He's watching. He will serve everybody according to what they deserve in the due time. Yes. When it will serve them best, it will serve it. All right. Uh, it is where? Don't do it all. Because everything you do to want to bring an innocent person down, it will come back to you in thousand forms. You will play at some of you. The thing where even they play at, you know, go no. You know, that is because you are carried away. You are too short sighted. You are too short that you are too overly short sighted or overly long sighted. That you don't know when things they play out under your nose. That is, you, they, you, they, you are busy looking at other people's asses, not knowing that your ass, when you open for nyash, the rubbish or the whatever, don't they, you will forget. You are still not getting it. All right? You are still not getting it. You are still not getting it. All right? So please, this is to whom it may concern, whoever it may be. I don't care who you are. Do not, in your anger, tear somebody's body. Pin lie put no, it doesn't work that way. Cause it get the way go take come back, come play against you. You have no idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anybody wrong you, lie against you, my dear. If you want to defend yourself, or say, come up, but don't in the quest of getting back, fabricate lie. Cook camp, cook camp, cook camp, cook camp. Eh, what are you doing? Don't fall short trying to correct another. You understand? It's like you trying to pull somebody out of the pit without safeguarding yourself and land in the pit as well. The land of you might even be worse. You understand? That's where that's the moral lesson. For the moral lesson in this whole thing is that he who have a glass ass. You don't throw stones in another person's glass ass. Alright? He, you don't throw stones when you are in the markets. Because you don't know if the stone when you throw for for market go in turn, go hit your loved one when they inside markets. Alright? When you are in the midst of crowd, you don't know who they there. No throw away bomb for there. You go hit people you least expect that you go hit. You might even hit somebody from your household. Alright? So don't do it. This, your hair is distracting me. Don't let it distract you. All you just need to pull a cut through BNB. I want that hair. I knew we have it like yesterday already. You understand? Don't let it distract you. You can afford it. Come on. You are a big baby. Just call and get it. Trust me. Call and get it. Stop looking. Some do they do. Manage, manage. They send money. Go give people you no know, work for the thing. Whereas you can... Use it on yourself too. That doesn't mean you should say to them. But hey, you are your number one priority. All right? Okay. All right. Now let's go to the next topic. Ah, this one too long ago. Let me just leave that topic for another day. How can you make yourself happy? Somebody called me this past week. And trust me, that question have lingered in my mind throughout the week. Because of the way she talked to me like... I begin to feel one kind. I feel like this. You know, I just got back from work and I'm feeling like I'm sad because I'm alone. You know, blah, 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 blah. Friends, this, this one. Doing. How can I make myself happy? It's not as if I, I get work, I get this work, I get money, I get house. But I'm not happy. 
Why? Because of maybe people that she surrounded herself with, what they are doing to her, you know, her not trying to be by herself is resorting to unhappiness and starting to feel some sense of depression. How can you make yourself happy by yourself? Without anybody. F friends. It's not, I mean, the weather, they don't, they don't necessarily have to be bad for you to learn to make yourself happy. Even your husband, if your happiness depends on your husband, eh? There is no time you are never going to be miserable because anytime you don't make me a calm, you are, you are knocked back into unhappiness mood, confused state of mind, depression and all that. You understand? If you, anything you attach your happiness to, anytime that thing go wrong, there is no way you are never going to be affected or let down or put down or feel some sense of depression. But how can you make yourself happy all by yourself? That was the question she asked me. I want to be happy, be and be. I want to be happy. I want to learn to be by myself and still be happy. I feel like I'm too used to some certain set of people that when they, they misbehave now, I'm starting to feel like, I'm alone in the old world and I'm sad and I want to make myself happy, but I don't just know how. How can I make myself happy? We are going to be answering that question, but first of all, let me go say this. I don't know. Time is going on. Okay, I started about um, to seven. Now it's uh, past eight. It's been one hour plus here. I don't know. Should I just leave this topic here and do this one another day? Guys, reply me. But this one not long. And I think we have succeeded in passing out a lot of message today. I know that a lot of lives have been touched today. Many hearts have been touched today. I mean, seriously, we live in a cruel world where people just are so happy to see another person that they look up onto a lot. Somebody that people look up onto a lot. They are happy when they hear negative things. But hey, at least, ah, make it no blessing. Let me want to just inside this mess. Uh -huh. Maybe they six see something when they talk for everybody. You don't care whether it's true or not. You are just happy to say it. You are happy to carry the news. You will share in it. Yes, you will. If you are that type. Yeah. Okay, okay. Another, please. For another, please. Okay, guys, reply me. Should we just do another topic? Yeah? Should we leave it for maybe Wednesday, our Wednesday topic so that we just continue with this? Should we live? How can I make myself happy all by myself? How can I do without attaching my happiness to somebody else? Hold on. Sorry, guys. I forget to, uh, to, to advertise um, Pleasant Glow. Hold on. Okay. Well, I thought I got a message from her. Hello. Hello, my lady. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, I completely forgot. I forgot to even advertise. I'm sorry. Let me quickly say this before I move further. Another day. Brilliant. I agree with that. On, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we will talk about that. Yes. On Wednesday, Jesus, a lovely good Jesus, baby. You are more than that. More than what? More than me motivating you to learn not to lie against people. Is that is that what you said? I'm more than... Let me know, please. Make your when you say more than more than words, spell it out so I can read. Cause me, I don't know how to read outside of the line. I read in between the line. All right. Um, postpone the topic, cause it is huge topic. I'm telling you. Thank you, Fresh Boss Casey. I will postpone it on Wednesday. Please tune in. I was supposed to do this topic. How can you make yourself happy on YouTube today? I've been trying to get on my uh, do live on my YouTube on laptop. You know, you no, know, I told you guys this laptop. I have desktop. I have laptop. We have up to but how many people get laptop for this? As my husband get one, uh, my uh, four of my children get each to themselves that they use in their studies and all that. So practically, I have five laptops in this house. Me, I, cho I choose not to buy anyone for myself. I can well, as well just use their own whenever they are free. And But I have a tablet to myself, plus phones. There's a desktop to print with printers and everything all complete. You know, we get our students, we get for us full everywhere. So yes. But I'm not conversant with those things. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will see the link to go to my YouTube channel there. Please, I'm begging you, my people, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need 1,000 subscribers to be able to do live 
on YouTube so that we can take these our life messages to YouTube. You know, Facebook has been polluted. Facebook is so corrupt and polluted that it means anyhow people, there are plenty for Facebook. They know they get the message in the message. Rather, they come here, jump into conclusion, blah, 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 blah. You understand? So please, YouTube is the thing now, right? So please subscribe. Not you be and be all right. Thank you. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm begging you guys in the name of God. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. B and B is keeping up with B and B. Just go to YouTube, type in keeping up with B and B two. Yeah, keeping up with B and B two. Just click. It don't take anything away from you. You don't. You don't collect money from you. Please, eh? Just go there and just go enter there. Just click on that subscribe button. That red with the right subscribe. Just click on it. Subscribe. Yeah. So we can take our life messages there, please. Yeah, please. As soon as they now, these 218 people that left here, I should have said this when they were most people. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel now. Abba, what is it? Subscribe, and as you do so, God will bless you. You know, I really wanted to talk about uh, this um, how to make yourself happy on YouTube channel, but I tried. That was why I, I was late coming online. You know, I I posted early this morning. I'll be coming on coming live on YouTube by 6 p.m. We don't try, try, try. Oh, they load, they load. I think there's too many files junk packed in the laptop that I was trying to use, and the rest of them, you know, they are in school. They have their assignment. Exam is coming. You know. They are preparing, so I, I could not just I couldn't couldn't deal with that anymore. I just drop it. But if to say now nah, I get up to a thousand subscriber now, nah, to just to go straight. As at this morning, the subscriber is almost about five hundred. You see, we still have a long way to go. So please subscribe to my YouTube. All right, subscribe. I will thank you very much. Favor, please do. Uh, your name on YouTube. My name on YouTube is the same name here on this page. Keeping up with B and B. The only difference is you just add number two. Two, yeah? Keeping up with B and B, then you add two. All right? Just type keeping up with B and B. Then at the end, you put two. Yeah? That's just, it's the same. It's so easy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm begging you guys in the name of God. Do it for your girl now. Huh? For all the motivational talk we have been doing since five years now. I mean, we've touched lives, yeah? To just... Click on that subscribe button will not be a big it shouldn't be a big deal. It's not as if they could take more. Even if you don't want to come, come they wash, eh? Say no, I don't want to go there. Just subscribe, maybe for each one thousand. Eh? Even if you don't want to wash for the people where you say they would like to go, they wash. They come, they come, they wash. And for me too. Yeah. So please. And uh please, oh, in the name of God Almighty, I don't tolerate insulting each other here. Uh, this one do you that one do you please don't do that here don't do that here if you want to uh, uh, say anything to anybody be diplomatic about it all right okay like i said earlier we'll come back on wednesday again i just pray maybe by wednesday i did be able to come on youtube that way we'll be able to do it on youtube because it's a broad message it is a broad message a lot of people have fall victim of negative company evil company because they are looking for somebody to make them happy they are depending on a lot of people are depressed not because of their own problem but for the fact that they feel lonely you know they have it all but they just feel lonely they are depressed a lot of people are depressed because people they depend on to make them happy even when they have it all going for them these people are letting them down and they don't just know how to make themselves happy as a result of that they are looking depressed we are going to be talking about it. trust me i've done a lot of research regarding this there we are going to be touching lives and all that the lady that called me was it on thursday or so after before the end of the call she, when she called me the voice was down but after the end of the call she was laughing we both were laughing our heads off as if we are with each other falling on top of each other you understand we laughed our head off and she said you know bmb i'm so happy i said i'm really happy when i was when i called you i wasn't this happy but right now i am happy and you know what he said you know what everything you said i will take it on board i will remember everything you say to me each time i want to feel sad again because of this so yes i thought of it and i said you know what i need to bring this to you guys so please 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 uh please subscribe thank you thank you please do subscribe Lady B and B followers, exactly. Help me tell them. They could not subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link says I'll take it there. 
it, on top of this video, there's a link I put there. Just click on it, you go there. And that said, that being said, pleasant glow. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Although I, I wrote it there anyway. If you read down on the on the right top, is there? Pleasant glow skincare, trusted all the way, tested and trusted. Don't forget, pleasant glow skincare, pleasant glow skincare, pleasant glow skincare. It is a brand that you must try. Honestly, this is a product that work wonders. All right, it work wonders. I'm telling you, forget about all those yama yama you the hear people talk organic in the bleach. I believe that story. Bad belly people fully inside. So people they will be say bad belly just they worry them. Some of those comments you see online self trying to condemn it. It could be from a business associate or a competitor in the you know in the organic skincare field with a fake account just trying to discredit another person's business you have no idea so don't listen to people who just talk out of their nose and out of hate or out of what they don't know anything about how can somebody who have tested something and trusted is telling you about it and who never try and they tell you say no good no good don't mind them try for yourself at the end of the day everybody's skin will be the same thing they might have tried it once they were impatient enough not to wait and let it uh, give it enough time to start react uh, for their skin to start reacting to it and they jump out of it say no no they work no they work don't listen to people like that all right do not listen to people like that for those of you who have been calling those of you who have been buying some of you have been calling say, the thing they work oh, i appreciate you go on keep buying Bye, 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 bye. The number to don't call me, don't call me. Oh, I'm tired of receiving call. Organic, organic, organic. I told you guys, pleasant glow. The number is there. Is the number that starts with plus four four. Call her directly, and she will deliver to you. A S A P. All right. It is a trust, a, a, a tested and trusted product, and you will never go wrong with it. Just tell her what you want. Like I said, she will customize your product based on what you want what will benefit your skin what she's going to give to you is not what you will give to a or b now what you want now he will give you if you want a chocolate mocha now dark skin you just need to make and they make your dark color they shine now he will give you, you no know, go carry fair person cream can't give you he will give you chocolate cream when you go shine your color for you if you are you now a vanilla if you be vanilla you know caramel skin now caramel people products you go carry come give you if now you bought pepper you still be like me now you bought pepper oh now you go carry come give you and go help you to shine your ibo pepper make sure say all the destroyed uh maybe for those of you who have used harsh chemicals before and the harsh chemical don't destroy your skin stay calm relax all right no rush you know work you know work you know work i don't use one month you know work hey, hey, hey. you know work <laughs> Like I said from the day one of the advert, it go first repair all your skin. You see all those your broken down layers, yeah? Where ash chemical don't break. It go first heal them. It go heal them, restore them before it start to work. And for those of you who don't bleach on our skin, or maybe you will not be saying you even bleach them, but the cream where you they use cone lighting and you don't like them again because you get different, different color and you want to go back to your usual correct color where you get before, eh? That chocolate brown color that light chocolate color where you be before that caramel color where you be before you want to go back there contact pleasant skincare if the product when you go give to you waiting go give to you it go help restore back all the broken down melanin that would have helped you to maintain that your tan skin that your you know it go it go help you so make sure say he repair that skin for you. All your broken melanin, the vitamins in the, in the, uh, in the uh, vitamin in the cream, yeah, go restore them, and then you go back into your shield without any mango mango. Honestly, without any mango mango, how can I get it? The number to call is on my page there. If you if you type this video now, if you just click on this video. Like this now. If you just your full weight in the washer, just click on it like this. Once you click on it like this, yeah. The right up, that right up, that right up where you say continue reading. Read more. Click on the those dots to finish the right up on top. Now her number. Now in the under under I write and say uh skin I'd rather say to contact to contact um pleasant glow. This is the number to call. I put it there. The number starts with plus four four. That is the number to call. All right. 
call it and uh, trust me you will not regret it it is a trust tested and trusted product forget about what other people have said those people just some people speak out i look at some people and i shake my head people speak out of malicious intent people speak out of hate people speak out of everybody they talk and make i talk and they don't know what they are saying so don't listen to them all right it is not all about a bless you or bless you just to discredit people who are using it or to discredit the business oh my god that is ignorance ignore no wonder the word of god says my people perish because they lack knowledge they have no idea of what it is this lady pleasant glow a lady adeola the ceo of pleasant glow is a dermatologist he studied the thing he studied him. not be say me screen for me bring for me make a they sell no he got the school he studied him, so he know what it is all right he knows what it is so please yeah go and place your order and fear not just subscribe with four phones oh my god god bless you dave domini god bless you see this is what i'm talking about i beg me kuna subscribe for those of now we get different youtube account different phones i use god beg kuna make kuna go subscribe subscribe you know me say now the four phone you will just say the wash up but just subscribe maybe for each one thousand please eh? do it for your girl now please eh? be cool along and join now eh? Eh? please wala wo why you subscribe I'm tired of Facebook. I'm telling you, I am sick and tired of Facebook. I want to relocate to YouTube. Mm, I wish I know. Sometime last year, the last two years, I, I did live video on YouTube with phone. If I just continue then, I don't think I will be heard among this uh, new update of eligibility to be able to do live there. Then I could do live on my video, but then I just stopped. I got discouraged, you know, with YouTube now. Take time to build up and all that. I would have just continued. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Be patient. Gradually, gradually, you see what you want. All right. Uh, send me your number. So if you want to call me, it is here. If you want to buy her, you see the way this is a ah, Jesus. This is sell. Uh, people buy this uh, since that last time I advertised it alongside with that cream. People buy. And I couldn't just help it, but to just go fix one for myself. I had to charge. So, but people in the band, they don't get five heads. Man, make one for myself, I beg. Ah, make one. Yes, it's fine. Yeah? I was in church today. My church member was just like, Oh, B and B, I love this. Uh, I need a word. How much? He want? I said, No, no, no. Church with this. So, make church over. Then we talk. Call me, call me for us. Don't want to talk business when the church service is going on. You understand? So, place your order. She thought, Charm. Like, Oh my God, B and B. Oh my God, this is so good. Trust me, it's what you see. So free, beautiful. Look at it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Let me comb it for you guys to see. Yeah. So any question, if you have any question, anything you want to, I have subscribed. God bless you. Please, Mona, go subscribe. Oh, chai. The link to follow, they there. Say, what it be the name? Don't even bother about the name. You see on top of, on top of this video now, there is a link there. That's the link to my YouTube. Please, if you are here, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm on buy your toy. Subscribe the Abba. Wanna go subscribe? You they see us the flow. You they see What? What? Oh. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Don't worry. I'll eat it. Uh huh. Hold on. Should I be eating this? No, please. I'll eat it when I'm done. Don't worry, I'll eat it when I'm done. My baby made a boga for me and he could not just wait for me to eat it. <laughs> yeah. You see? So free. So free. Yeah. Uh, nice. Nice. I don't subscribe. Thank you. Damo Jasper, you are, you are a darling. You are a darling. Now they see the ass in the flow. Very easily. Easy. That is... Is a tango free look at it flawlessly, flawlessly. Flaw Why are you distracting me now? Sorry, okay, guys. Place your order, place your order, place your order. I gotta go. My baby need my attention. Yeah, place your order, and you will never go. You will not you will not regret it. I'm telling you, look at it, it's so free. Look, look, let me comb it, yeah? You see that? You see the way the comb just they go? You see, huh? you see the way the comb they go? 
Look at the comb. Not even a strand. Eh? As this a long reach. Eh? Not even a strand. You don't see her. You know they happen. Awa wa. Eh, so no na. Bebe. See her. Not even one strand will come out follow your comb. Because it's too nice. Yeah? I be like this coins with this so. But let me comb it out. Let me comb it out. It will carry the coins back again. Alright? You see the way we just nice. So lovely. Place your order, guys. Place your order. Is hundred percent, hundred percent real human hair. I'm talking of real human hair. Real human hair. Now it be this. No be mango mango. Eh? No be mango mango. Hmm. You not understand. No be every person they talk like. No be mango mango. No be one with nine. Any any synthetic. Zegwa any guagua with synthetic. Eh? You understand? So yes, this is re uh, place your order. Place your order, place your order. You will never regret it. And don't forget to place your order from Pleasant Glow Skincare. Uh, the co fine pass. <laughs> the co fine pass. Wait. <laughs> hey, I sell comb too. If you order for me and you want to buy this comb, let me know. I sell it too. I sell comb. I need hair accessory that you need. The uh, um the uh, conditioner to use for the hair, the oil for the hair treatment to keep your hair brand new, soft and silky, shining, beautiful all the time, tango free. I have all those cream, but you have to buy hair from me for me to sell for you. Next, sell for the thing they wear on. Mm -hmm. I they sell, all right. But I already sell to people we buy hair from me, all right. I don't sell them on its own like that. You will buy it from me to get them. All right. If you buy it, say I want that comb. I will sell for you. <laughs> I love you, my lovers. On this note, I forgot to say since Diono Saige. Happy birthday to you. I posted about you earlier. Chief Kado Ambassador Dion Osage. Chief Ambassador Dion Osage. Mr. Kado. We appreciate you. I appreciate you today. It's your birthday. May favor continue to follow you as you go on helping others. May this calling that God have, this cross when God carry, give you, may you carry so. May it not become too heavy for you in the name of Jesus. More years of peace, love, happiness in Jesus' name. You never sleep. No, I'm still here. You can see I'm still here. Can you be asking that kind of question? You never sleep and you see me standing. That shows the level of immaturity. You know, how can you? It's like you see me day house with they ask me, you day house, and you day side the same house with me. Oh, you day house, you never sleep, and I'm still here. Eh? Lack of maturity. Eh. No wonder I see name is Mina. She's dreaming. Her name is Mina. She's dreaming. She had a dream that I was sleeping. Then she woke up. <laughs> I see that I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> you know what they say? People go by their name, you know. Yes. People act sometimes according to their name. All right. I'm done with this topic today. I hope you've learned one or two things from what we talk about today. Listen. Stop trying to pull people down. Not know him and where him and where no bother my yake yake. All right, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. It is not nice. All right, it is not nice. I haven't said that. Love, 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 Lish and every one of you. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um. It, oh, is your son's birthday today too? Oh my God! I think did I? What was that? I don't know was it you post today about it right i don't know oh my god in fact i want to declare upon your son in the mighty name of jesus please guys as i they pray me kuna they say amen 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 please i have a son whose birthday is a few days away from today too as i they pray me kuna they say amen ah my lady edna arayere I call your name this evening using you as a point of contact to reach your son because he came out of you. And I declare upon him in the name of Jesus. He shall be well with him. Ah, 
a happy birthday i wish him today mark a new beginning of greater hearts upon his life in the name of jesus his going out shall be blessed and his coming in shall be blessed whosoever raise an arrow against him shall pierce themselves with that same arrow in the name of jesus his going out shall be fruitful and multiply and his coming in shall be blessed and increased in wisdom knowledge understanding and every good things of life in the name of jesus he shall not die please who is this i'm praying hello please can you call me back in another two minutes i'm i'm, I'm praying i'm live in two minutes please let me finish prayers then you call me yeah I declare in the name of Jesus, he will not die, but he shall live to fulfill destinies. In Jesus' name, he shall be blessed, so blessed that he become blessings to his generations. In the name of Jesus, ah, mighty God in battle, I declare death that snatches children away at their prime stage, prime age, will not know you are born. They will not know this child. In the name of Jesus. Ah, they say young adult, teenager, that they go kaka, that they go cuckoo. They will not see your children. They will not come near your children. Every spirit that go for straight young adults in their prime stage will not see this boy. They shall not see your child. In the name of Jesus. I declare upon him today, wherever he go, favor shall nurse him. As he go through his adult lifehood, I declare, even the woman is married tomorrow. And the anointing of God shall locate that woman that he will, she will become a blessing unto him and your entire family and her entire family. In the mighty name of Jesus, he shall be well with him mentally. He shall be well with him physically. He shall be well with him spiritually. He shall be well with him academically. He shall be well with him socially. It shall be well with him psychologically. It shall be well with him in every area of his life. It shall be well with him financially in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare today it is a two, 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 two thing. In the name of Jesus, I remove every zero for his sake. Ah, he will work and he shall succeed. Whatsoever good thing he lays his hand upon to do, he shall succeed. God shall give him divine ideas as he journey into his adulthood. The Lord shall open his eyes to divine ideas. His helpers shall locate him in the name of Jesus. Any office, any work of his choice that he chooses to do, we are hundred are submitting their CV. His own, we catch the eyes, we catch the attention of anyone that will be a favor unto him. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, it shall be well with him. 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 You think you have seen the best part of him yet? Wait until you see what the Lord have in stock for him. It is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not yet. Then does it even come to the imagination of men what God has in stock for us, what God has in stock for him. These things God have in stock for him, they shall begin to make manifest upon his life from now on. This I pray for him. This also I pray for Dion Osagi and every other February born who are of God queuing into this prayer tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. It shall be well with him. It shall be well with him. It shall be well with him. It shall be well with him by day. It shall be well with him by night. It shall be well with him in the name of Jesus. The mighty hand of God will keep him away from every negative associate. In the name of Jesus. The mighty hand of God will separate him from every negative influence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Evil will not know him. The wicked one will not see him. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen, 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 amen. As many of you say amen, I declare upon your children, it shall be well with them too. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Happy birthday to my darling, lovely son. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to your son. Please, my lady, tell your son I said happy birthday. In fact, Fast forward this video to the part where we started praying for him. Let him shout a big amen. Let him say amen accordingly as we pray. And it shall be well with him. He has always been well with him, but he shall even be more well with him. In the name of Jesus. Ah! It shall be well with him. Oh, champion he is. And champion he will remain. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Settled. Hallelujah. 
Love you guys. My darling. My papa ri papa. Hey. Love you, love you, love you, love you, my people. You guys are the best. Love you. 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 And love you. I love you. I know you love me too. I love you. Valentine is coming. Go and buy your uh, pleasant glow skin clear and shine before Valentine. Valentine is coming. I beg, we could come buy hair. Come and buy hair. Oh. May you take shine for Valentine for your bobo. I have said my own. Oh. Come and buy. In fact, women, tell your husband to come and buy for you for Valentine present. Ah, uh ah, -uh, what is it? May wear the bad present for their wife. They don't carry seven head. We may wear their husband. They buy Valentine present for. They don't carry fourteen head. Eh? Tell your husband you want him to buy you human hair for Valentine present. And if they can afford it, oh, if they can afford, it, if they cannot afford it, please don't put the pressure on them. But at least you know your husband say at least uh -uh, good or bad you can afford it. It doesn't necessarily have to be this long. Yeah, you know the longer the. But buy buy you my hair. I bet buy you my head. People wear no get seven head. You understand? Yes, so angel darling. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Ah, my people, I'm not too much. You guys are just the best. On this point, I think I'm talking too much already. We spend uh, about two hours now. To seven to eight. Nine. Yes. Okay. This corner. Hello? Yes, I'm true. <laughs> you were really watching. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the plus four, plus four for you, the ring, the pleasant blow, you, the ring, you know, she no pick. Oh, huh? uh, I'm sure she probably, she's probably on, on another line. You know, because she, she tested me just right now, right there. You know. Obviously, she's probably on another line, you know, because they come in all the time. Please try it again, yeah? You If you are, if you can add her on WhatsApp, she's on WhatsApp with that number. You know, that will save you from, you know, wasting your credit. You understand? Please try her again. I'm sure she, she'll pick. If you try on WhatsApp, she just leave her in short with her voice note or text message. Trust me, she'll get back to you. ASAP. Yeah? All right, love. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, darling. Don't forget to place your order. Come and order better. You my hair. When you go weird, they go no say yes. Man, this babe don't arrive. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a lady that bought hair from me, and then she told me, say, be, be away your hair to church. Say, my pastor say. Mm. Say, now, after my pastor, then they preach you. He said, couldn't help it, but notice my hair. <laughs> he said, now he said, so the way I die, I go short before that man, know they talk. <laughs> he said, now my hair, now we are next sit. I next is at church. Pastor, they preach for water from there, he noticed my hair. Then I call a man, say, man, that hair, where you wear, so. <laughs> that hair, I don't need to be told that it's original. Only God know how much you used to buy that hair, now. But if they say, me, could not pay off, repay that, now, I don't go grip it. <laughs> He <laughs> said, "Be a BC waiting your head because he said, Pastor, begin to tag my head price.' Pastor, and she's not the first person saying this to me. There was another lady who said this to me before. There was a course she bought from me, calling her. She told me her pastor also made references to her all the way from the altar. You know." This one come here, see, they love walking. He said, Yeah, I mean, see, we see your luxurious human hair. They cause he said, Now, from what a pastor call me, he said, I can see that hair, that hair that you are wearing. This is original, Pastor. Oh, be man. The pastor say, This is your hair that you are wearing. I don't need to be told. This is original Brazilian hair. <laughs> I don't let God know. I know that without being told, that hair must be expensive. Money where the pastor even come put, no reach the money where he take by him. Say, Pastor, tell him, I said, that hair must be over 500. 
<laughs> the way the hair look, looking at it alone, you can tell. But if they say they could have come pay off repay tax, now they find coins. <laughs> now they find one cent, two euro, one euro. We're not going to come for free baskets. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not CJ. Hello, serious you my yourself. I couldn't just help it say I'll call me be a be a be. You see, wait till your luxurious hundred percent you my they cost for me now. Yo, AJ, oh my god, oh my god. I love love working with me. I see Joe, you are not the only one. There was a lady who told me this sometime last year too. This is your husband. So the pastor just sitting there and say, man, this is your hair, man. We don't need to be told this one about it because he carry weights. <laughs> oh my God, Shy. my dear, oh my bow, but that's it. You don't need to tell person. Say now you buy it. Well, they know, man. Right? Okay. I am telling you honestly. I was laugh one time. He say, "He say be a big say I come up for church. I go the thing say which guy jealous? Sick up in this one. <laughs> say you my egg. <laughs> you my egg. Man, what's not the calculate money for me? <laughs> they tell me say if they make a cup pay tight now. Pay off free. I go the five coins. That's that's I say." Okay, you they use coins, they pay off free before. <laughs> I don't feel love, Jesus. I was first to ask her, like, okay, now coins you take, they pay off free. They don't see her. Maybe your pastor don't notice her, now so so coins. Say, no, say, be happy, no. Now envelope with the drop tip on it. I want to know the one when I put for his side. <laughs> he said, she was just say, I guess. He just wanted to make reference to everybody. He couldn't get it, but to use my human hair, you know. Now, <laughs> nah, you should be happy at least. Even Pastor noticed that nah, he want you wear. <laughs> he said that nah, he will, but nah, nah. everybody, I don't tell my pussy. He said, the worst part of it, he said, nah, 500 at the time. And the money, no, even is 500 at the <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Kai. Hey, we laughed at you. <laughs> it was when it was <laughs> when it was there, she was telling me, Love working with God on my TV. I said, Are you serious? He said, Yes, so he said, I'm not joking. No, he said, Now, now, preach, pastor, the preach. He didn't preach it, but so he sits. The next thing I'm in my head, I think. See, he said, You're calling it. You can't see that head. You don't need to be told that that's already now. <laughs> And that hair will be his original Brazilian hair. <laughs> that hair will cost a lot. That hair, there is no way that I know there is 500 euro. And then he say, hey, whoa. You know what I mean? He said for him, and I say, hey, me and me, Lozorio said, don't cost a lot of money. He said, he come, he said, me and me. Hey, your Lozorio see my hair. <laughs> don't, don't ask me for church. <laughs> he don't ask me for church. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. God, I love working with Jesus Christ. Ah. That is a good thing, right? That is a good thing. <laughs> me, I know condo the one way they for say. When they, they play me, say, they have to correct so. Well, that's a pastor, Colabo. Me, I no understand. Now I say, what to, where to. Now, coins you tell they pay off free. He said, I want to know. <laughs> now, envelope, they put our offering. I want to know the one when I put why he choose to use me as an example. <laughs> he said, I don't invest now. I don't know whether I want to go to church again. <laughs> now I said, No, you go go. You will go. Pastor was just making reference. That's in a reference. He's just not so a reference. <laughs> He's just, my God. Kai, Jesus Christ. Oh, hey. Man, now nah, I say, no worry, now nah, just reference. <laughs> Me, Pastor, was just making reference sometimes. Me, Pastor, don't do that repeat. <laughs> sometimes you forget yourself. Use reference where you're not supposed to use. 
Now, dear pastor, they get problem with a lot of problem. people. Go <laughs> say, secret when I just the pastor problem when I just explained to her yesterday. Today, just tell her that I'm going to use as example. <laughs> now, I say, no, no, no worry. We're just making reference. I see people can afford big thing like this, yet they cannot afford to buy five, five, five euro for offering. Hey, Joe. Hey, I was able to talk out of that. I don't want to go to church again. Blah blah. Now I say no, no, no. Why they talk? Can you explain to me? Say, yeah. Imagine the the, the human head that uh, <laughs> sister so so so, so you wearing now. You can tell that is original. That is original Brasilia. <laughs> there is no way that hair will not cost five hundred euro. <laughs> but if you ask them to put for free, come and pay that. Come and pay for free. That's where they start looking for posts. Looking for the smallest change, smallest coins in their wallets, in their purses. Oh my God! Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Hey. So yes, it for me. And I say, well, is it for me or is a good thing? At least <laughs> you're calling me now. Say you had to create traffic for in a good way. All right. Don't be saying that they tell you say the air tango, good, the air no good. They are telling you say me. You don't need to be told the hair is original. So, guys, come and buy your own, come and buy your 100% luxurious human hair. Yes, come and buy your <laughs> own. Yes. Guy, any time I remember it since two days ago. Was it yesterday? Come on, it'll be a Friday. Any time I remember it, I laugh. Only people go just in those laugh. A lady once told me about like this before, sometime last year. Ah, even, even for her, not just only her pastor, everybody in their church is talking about her hair. Like, man, this is where you you. But when she tell them the price, they will say, ah, ah, you know, that they buy for social so, so, so websites, cheap. But Runa Sina said this one different. Then when she called tell me, oh, the way she take talk, oh, like the way they, they, they pay now for but this say pastor calling them. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, Jesus. Let me have you say to your head of course for my body now. <laughs> so they think and see, they think and see on Sunday. I don't know I want to rise when I can call you. <laughs> your luxurious human hair. See what you they cost for me. <laughs> Let's see, Jim. Don't be the quality, don't be attractive. We should have called him my own voice. <laughs> say, Pastor, call you, come up for church. We should have called him my own again. He said, No, not be saying the best, just that. I don't just know I defense for pastor. <laughs> I don't think I want to go to that church. Now I say you will go, you will go, you will go. Pastor is just making reference. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah eh, my dear, so it's not by force, but sometimes you know these are broad churches now. They go pay rent, pay bills. I mean, you also need as somebody if you be the type where they give you need to reason all of that. You don't expect pastor. You know it, when you go to church, everybody expect pastor to just be the one that is solemnly responsible to pay rent, pay bills, and all that. I mean, rent got to be paid. That's your place place of worship. Those little little tight offerings from there. Now where did they see money where they take the parents with that? Plus the people probably will, you know, um was the what how do they call it? People with volunteer who vow to be part of the rent and all that. You know, I mean, it's hall, especially when it's a permanent place you rent, that you use at any time, any day, whatever program, is your permanent place. Bees got to be paid, I beg. Sometimes you think about all those things. Don't be that selfish member who don't think of these things. Think about it when you are dropping your title, your offering, dropping your offering most especially, always let that be in your head. You know, it's a little bit of your quarter towards the maintenance of the place. All right. Uh, <laughs> you need to use rapper time because he was, he said next time you need to use rapper scarf. <laughs> that time he was serious. <laughs> so that in case if they call utter call next time. You are better get up when you are very luxurious in my head. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, I don't feel like for my people to pay me. God, <laughs> I'm not going to go. I remember the way she sounds. <laughs> The way she was saying it so seriously, like, now me be the cost. Now me be the food. Now me see me pass the color. Now say I do wrong, but I take it for a Say better, I give her. If I remember, love God, just catch me. Now the very different people that they see God. My God, though. Me happy. <laughs> Lady, be happy. Good afternoon. <laughs> I know that they happy at all. I say, this time. Now say, what is it? No be the law. See, not see my hair when you said for me. They put me for <laughs> But my friend, what is it? So my pastor just carry come here. As if people play the rich for church. Now me see they do example. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. My God, I don't want to make you they think they feel bad. <laughs> hey, oh God Almighty. <sighs> it is way. Guys, come and buy you. Come and buy you. No, serious, you my Oh my God. Come and buy your own luxurious human hair, oh, honestly. <laughs> I like that kind of complaint. See, I wish I said for you to grow, see, they complain, say, it's bad. Now, just for me, if it's too good, they create traffic. I know, like, the kind of traffic, but I say, don't they get to me? I like that kind of, you know. <laughs> I guess it's just the type. She doesn't like stuff like that at all. That's why I got to her that bad, say, ah. People they are the cultures before no wear you my own and not see me. Today like don't wear better hair. And today you can't see me. <laughs> oh my god. I told us okay, next if not so if you are not comfortable with wearing it to church anymore, you wear a short short one because you bought one short one for me too. They wear the short one first. Maybe that one they wait they long, they fine, you know, can catch their attention. They actually were distracting past up with it. <laughs> Oh my God, Kai! Hey, my God! For me, my church, they are used to it already. They know, say, me and please, oh, it's like this. So by now, they are used to it. When they compliment it, they just compliment it. They want to buy, you know. No be to take taco me. <laughs> Could I not say? Let me they sell <laughs> Oh my God! Ah, bye, guys. Honestly, bye. This video is taking longer than I thought. <laughs> bye, guys. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Ah. Uh, I'm telling you, he's real or so. Uh, so, so let me, let me, this is your luxurious <laughs> Like they keep me while I'm for church. He's your, he's your right, I beg. If not so long, no, we are the long one go again. They wear the short one for now. All right, until you are capable, really, like, I don't care. I'm only at the fire. What am I going say this? Guys, Come and buy your real luxurious human hair. Oh, you will not go wrong with it. Having said that, bye. I'm hungry. Let me go and eat. Bye. Good night, everybody. You are just happy today. Love this. I'm always happy. My laughter will go um, take. Uh, we will go turn this one. Ah, me. My second name now. Now, now happiness. I'm always happy. I laugh. Yes. I'm always happy. Honestly. I'm always happy. Here's the topic we'll be talking about on Wednesday. Stay tuned. Love you guys. And um <laughs> don't be smoke holder, I'm telling you. You all need to, you see why I'm laughing. You all need to hear the way Chite attack me. Like say I do bad. Like ah, my mind first fly say, hey, yeah, you know. I know the year when I carry call give this Ubano. You don't already first send me audio. To they thank me. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, no wonder. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, this video don't too long. That he said something. She said something. No wonder. Sister, he said, Mama, glad this talk said it one time of, on YouTube on uh, YouTube that your hair is original. Ah, she's not the only one who have said that to me. There are some customers who buy from me. I said, Mama, glad this was talking about your hair on YouTube. Listen, uh, please somebody to help me take this message back to Mama Gladys. I appreciate you. I'm, I'm talking of um, Lady Gladys Constantino, uh, together in God's 
care family is it that's right please somebody tell me that help me tell her that i appreciate her so much a lot of people uh, over five six people have told me so far that they heard her talk well of my hair on her platform and i really 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 do appreciate that god bless you god bless you god bless you this is what we are talking about you know lending hand to each other see what's in good appreciate her talk her i mean every day you know cost you anything so mama gladys Amen. All right. Good night, everybody. Love, love, love you. Damo Jasper, you are a bad. <laughs> but thank you for reminding me. There is something I said I was going to say today anyway. I will postpone it in our next topic. It's something from the beginning of this year I have been saying that. You know the way you people will call in. When you call in to say, uh, hello, is that Lady B&B? Good morning, good afternoon. We are going to change that this year. When you call this year, now let congratulations. Neither go know me, put neither go know you. Now I go the year. Only congratulations. Now you go the year. So when you call me, instead of good afternoon, good day, I've been afternoon, I've been that side, I've been a, to make it easier for all of us. When you call, just say, Congratulations, Lady B and B. You don't need to say good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever. Don't even bother good afternoon. Just say congratulations. Congratulations covers it all. It is something that is good that you congratulate. So when it is a good morning, it is congratulations. When it's a good afternoon, it's congratulations. When it's a good evening, it's congratulations, right? So please, when you call my phone, don't bother even say good afternoon, good morning. Just say congratulations, Lady B and B. No matter what we are talking about, congratulations. Lazy B and B, now don't be your greeting. Me, myself, I go reply you back. Instead of saying good afternoon before, I go say congratulations to my lady. You understand? That's it. If you call me from now on, good afternoon, good lady, I go, I go, I go remind you. No, no, no. Greet well. Our greeting now for this platform is congratulations. Congratulations, Lady B and B. That's it. That's it, all right? Having said that, good night. Take the information to those who know you. Next week, we repeat ourselves from the beginning of the video. Bye, darling. Congratulations, my lady. That's it. I love this. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Good night and congratulations. Bye.